when we get our bottom board for uh, our side screen curtain box and we're going to glue a little uh, felt onto it I'm only going to do the top and the outer edge I'm not going to do the bottom or the side that goes up against the uh, up against the metal pan so first we're going to spray some uh, multi-purpose adhesive on there get it a little sticky piece of scrap here that's just about the right length and really I'm just going to stick that on there because it only needs to wrap down around the front we'll trim the excess off now if you want you can spray adhesive on the felt as well and uh, I think we're okay here I think it's gonna stick fine and what's gonna happen here now is we'll spray this face and we'll get some adhesive on the felt anyway and then we'll wrap that around that board That ought to be more than enough. Just bring this up, and get it to stick there nicely. Go ahead and turn it over. Nothing going to happen. But now we've got felt on the top and the front face we'll let that sit a little bit and uh, we'll have to trim off the excess and trim it where it uh, where the holes are we'll cut the holes open and then we'll be able to fasten that board to the backboard we've gone ahead and uh, put our two of our three-piece blocks set in here I uh, don't have the third piece painted yet but uh, it goes down here like so uh, I have to work on that now one of the things that we did when we made this new backboard is we kind of roughed this edge out here so at some point I'm going to have to go in and bring these surfaces together right now I got a little excess backboard here and a lot of that has to do with the wheel tubs and the wheel tubs on that edge are not in the best of shape and what I'm contemplating is uh, cutting those edges off and rolling up some new pieces and welding them onto the existing tubs and I'm still thinking about that so uh, at some point we're gonna have to make this surface uh, match the surface of the wheel tubs that's for sure the other thing we've done gone ahead and put our bottom board in and uh, it's nicely lined with felt so that's good we just got to go ahead and put our screws in from the back side and then uh, I'm going to work on putting that metal pan on there we got the uh, metal pan fastened to the backboard put some screws in there I was going to use nails but I see uh, screws work a little better and uh, that are wrapped around the bottom tacked on the back so really we pretty much got this 
completed uh, all felt inside. Um, we've got to work on this return a little bit once we get it in place. And the big thing we got to do now, which is going to be the hardest thing, is to transfer those holes in that wood down through the bottom pan and uh, get them opened up so that so that we can uh, put the bolts down through because I really couldn't put the holes in the pan until I knew where everything was so we've got slots in that board and uh, what we're going to have to do is get a real long drill bit and run it down there and then I hope the hell we don't catch the felt and uh, make some kind of mark or some kind of little hole in the bottom of the pan and then work up through from the bottom and open that hole up into a slot that matches the wood so that's probably doing it the hard way but seems like a lot of stuff we do we do the hard way so why should this be any different I think we finally got all of our parts in our wood parts a couple more boxes here we can open up and see what we got multiple shipments one piece today one piece tomorrow more paper I think this only has one piece in it from the looks of it and it appears to be a hinge pillar I think probably a left side hinge pillar cutouts for the hinges and this part overlaps the bottom there's a metal plate that goes in here looks like it's nicely done we'll have to see how it fits we'll put that aside and then we have a bigger box that should have our other hinge pillar in it as well as the top of the rear quarters Ay, 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 ay. okay more paper we got lots of paper oh we heavy duty paper this time heavy duty paper so here we have all oh, these are little dash filler pieces and then we have uh, our elbow piece that we only got one of them before uh, let's see what else we got here well, we got our other hinge pillar okay and what else we got heavy duty paper a whole trash can full of heavy duty paper cardboard here we have the top of the uh, rear section this looks like uh, right hand side and here we have the other side from the looks of it uh, left hand side and interesting that uh, these holes are already drilled, so that's cool. It's all routed out, rounded off. The holes fit where the elbow fits. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. This is the right side elbow. Which is the middle piece of the okay so let's say for the sake of argument that 
that goes on the right side and this piece goes in here I suppose like that yeah looks like just like that to make that nice curved piece come together and then you have the um, the bottom section which would be this piece if we can put this all together on the table notches together something like that and basically there you have the side of the car the bottom here runs to the bottom rail the top over here goes across the back so we have our three pieces and I think what we got to do uh, we get our rear bulkhead in and all of that bolted in place and then what we're gonna have to do is work forward from the rear with these pieces and get our door hung on this pillar and then get the front latch pillar to match the door so that's I think a process we're going to use we put our rear bulkhead into place uh, we've got our box our side curtain box in place uh, I've got to drop a couple of alignment dowels down through the bottom holes and then what we've done is clamped the box to this rear rail uh, at some point we're going to have to punch some holes along the top of that flange so that we can nail that flange down to that rear rail and uh, then of course we have our lid and our door and then we have this piece that goes across the top and what I see right now is that for some reason we don't have enough gap between the top of this divider whatever the end of the box this this piece should slide in there and we don't have enough room there so probably what we're going to have to do is sand the top of those edges down so that this will go back under there uh, just a little bit and then that we have our pieces to put in here so we're kind of getting getting there slowly um, really the next thing that I think I'm going to do is take this piece out if I can I'm sure it's the wheel tub is nailed into it we got three screws here and uh, we can put our new corner piece in there and kind of work down the elbow and down to the bottom piece with our hinge plate um, we've got one other thing to play with here before we really get serious and I'll have to show you what that is so one of the issues that we have is this edge that nails to the rear bulkhead is really eaten up pretty severely looks like it's been nailed more than once and uh, between that and the rust it's really kind of chewed up so my thinking is uh, we're going to have to make a new piece from here at least up in here somewhere around this curve and all the way down so we have a nice clean edge on there and the right way to do that probably is to make that new piece and then cut this old piece off and weld a new piece in um, gonna have to think about that a little bit do we do we cut the old piece off and weld a new piece in or do we make a new piece and overlap it the right way to do it of course is to cut it off so uh, what I'm gonna have to do really is is make a template and bend up some metal and uh, 
see what I can come up with there before we get too much further along because we can't really nail anything there right now. We can go ahead and mock up these other pieces and uh, you know we're going to have to pull these nails out from uh, underneath here underneath the wheel well to get this piece out but uh, that's going to be the next thing is to put these two corners in and start working down to the uh, hinge pillar. Got our side curtain box fitted in place, just held in place with some alignment dowels and then we've got our rail sort of clamped over top of the rear wood there. What we're going to have to do is take that back out and use the Whitney punch to punch a row of holes in that flange so we can go ahead and nail that flange to that piece of wood. Um, I'm just, it may be, <laughs> it may be that we want to attach that flange to the piece of wood and then put the whole thing in together because right now there's no support under the middle of that wooden rail and I don't want to get in there and try hammering brads in there uh, when there's no support under it so maybe easier just to uh, drill a couple of alignment holes or use a couple of alignment holes and get it in place and then take the whole thing out and nail that flange to that piece of wood and then put the whole thing back in again. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to think about that. We've been tinkering. We've got our new top piece in here and uh, kind of working working with it. Uh, we've still got to fit this seam a little bit here. I'd like to fasten this old, new top piece to the old middle piece to get that to work right uh, before I get too much farther. And then in the back here we've kind of got our corner in. Um, all the pieces are going to have to take our sander and round this edge of the uh, rear panel off. And we've also been working inside our box there and see if we can get this to raise up. There we go. And we managed to get this piece in. We had to sand the tops of those side rails for the uh, box to give us just enough clearance for this piece to go underneath that. And uh, this is an original piece. It's got a little sag in the middle. And I think what we're going to have to do is kind of bridge that between two things and put a little weight in the middle to get that it's just been laying around so long that it's developed a sag and then it's got a reinforcement underneath uh, that we replaced but uh, didn't help the sag so we'll have to work on that a little bit but at least it slides back in there and we may depending on how upholstery goes if the upholstery's got a wrap under there we may need a little more clearance yet uh, it's pretty snug right now, but that's the top of the uh, side curtain box. So that's it. We're just tinkering along here, uh, one piece at a time. But uh, we've got all our, our our wood that we need now, so just got to get it all fitting in the right place, going in the right direction. Mm -hmm.